friends, this is my favorite time of the year. It's Croctober, and you know, my husband calls me the Croc Crockpot Queen. So, Croctober should be all year long. Our host of this, of uh, the Crockpot Croctober Challenge is Tammy from Southern Everyday Life and Sammy at Managing the Maze. Please go check out their channel and, and the link to the playlist in the description box for more delicious crock pot ideas. I know I'm going to check out the playlist to get new ideas that I can make in the crock pot for this fall and winter. Okay, we have our diced tomatoes in there. We're going to add one can of salsa. Mine's homemade, but yours can be store-bought. One can of kidney beans. One can of drained corn. One can of chili beans. This is basically like kidney bean, smaller kidney beans with the chili in them. One can of black beans. You can drain them or you can not drain them. I just decided not to drain them this time. One can of chicken with the with the with the juice. And one can and one thing of chicken stock. <clears throat> then to this, I'm going here's our seasoning. I'm going to add a tablespoon of chili powder. And two tablespoons of taco seasoning. We're going to cook this on high for four hours. Or you can do low for eight if you're, if you're say, at work or other activities, school activities. Um... As you know, I know there's football moms, there's baseball moms, that uh, this would be great for after the sporting event or after work. I, I'm gonna start off with I'm gonna, these are the tiny potatoes. I got them on sale. So I picked these up for this stew. So I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna use them as is. I'll just wash them. Then I'll start with our onion.
Oh, wow, that baby's hot. This thing will cry, make you cry a river, I tell you. I had a half a bag of these big bag of baby carrots, which is probably about one bag, a small bag of baby carrots in my refrigerator that needs used up. So why get new carrots? I just thought, well, I'll put that in our chicken pot pie soup. And I'm throwing that in the strainer because all that stuff will go over and get whooshed before we put it in the crock pot. The store they gave me different celery. It had two things of celery in it. One up, this one here, it really needs to be used up. So I'm going to just put it in there, which average stocks, I'd say this was probably three stocks, two, well, probably two stocks of celery, but this is really short. So I'm going to just chop it up, add it to our vegetables to wash. That'll go in the bowl for the vegetables to wood. Here we go. Here's our crock pot. We're going to add, since the, the video is about how to use canned chicken, we're going to add canned chicken to it. We're going to add two cans. My husband bought a ton of this during, you know, that time. Uh, and uh, I never really used it only for chicken salad now I have a ton of it I'll never in my life eat that much chicken salad so I've decided with grocery prices as high as they are I'm gonna get this chicken out and try it with different recipes so this is gonna be chick chicken pot pie soup or some people call it chicken stew I'm going to use canned chicken. I'm going to add our vegetables. I'm going to add a thing of chicken stock. He was going to tell my husband he just bought a case of this and I'm halfway through it. Happy October! Happy, happy fall. It's soup time. I'd say two bay leaves, but mine's a little bit disintegrated. That's onion powder that's clumped up pretty good. Um, Mrs. Dash. Add some Mrs. Dash. And my mouth keeps slipping. And one container of heavy cream. what we got so far. My mouth just kept slipping so I had to redo it and come back. And a uh, can of chicken and mushrooms, chicken, cream of chicken soup. 
This will help with your chicken flavor since I don't know how good that, that canned chicken is with flavor. And I may add in, I'm going to also add in, which I haven't got out yet, a teaspoon of bouillon or a couple bouillon cubes, however yours comes. Just to make sure it has that good chicken flavor. I don't want bland soup. This is our Beyond Bouillon seasoning. And we're going to add that and a squeaker to my soup. If you have dogs, I apologize. Bailey's not sharing his toy. But I bet they're going crazy right now. Okay, I'm going to set this on high. I'm going to set my timer for three hours, and we will be back in three hours. Okay, our soup's cooked an hour and a half. You can add the... I'm, I'm going to add a can of green beans because I have a ton of them in my cupboard. But if you want to add peas or corn, you can add them right now too. The biggest thing is I wanted to get I want to get the potatoes cooked and not have mushy mushy green beans in our stew. But if you wanted peas or peas or corn in here instead of that, you could. But we like green beans and we have a ton in the in the cabinet, so I thought, eh, add add it to it. You know we love to add our sneak in vegetables when we can. For years I've been telling my husband that I put parsley in things. He doesn't know it's dried spinach. One container of, of butter flavored, and mine is garlic, uh, mashed potatoes. And I forgot. I'm going to add two teaspoons of butter. Just like that. Well, that was a little bit more than two teaspoons. But, you know, my mama was from the South. We measured our butter generously. And we're going to let this cook for another hour. 